Well, just in case you were ever wondering what it's like to stand inside a swarm of bees, it's a little like this. The sun's pretty bright out here. This looks like it's going to be a uh, relatively small swarm. Coming out of this hive right here. I've been trying to keep it under control. I split it twice. Once they get it in their head, they're going to swarm. They're going to swarm, so not much you can do. So basically the hope is that the uh, queen is going to settle someplace where you can uh, collect the swarm. Uh, I can't tell for sure, but it looks like they're going way up there in the uh, birch trees. It's going to be a tricky one, but I'm probably going to do it. Right now they're all up overhead here, having a good time. So they're quieting down and they seem to have settled on a branch way up there. I'll try to point to it here, right about there. And that's about that far off the ground. There's the ground. It's pretty much all the way up. So the question is, do I cut down this tree? Well, I'll say this about bees. They always seem to wait until you have no time to do whatever they're gonna do. Like, today I had all these veggies I was gonna plant. And now, I gotta be climbing up this ladder, stringing ropes up and I decided I'm just going to cut the whole tree down because even it, I, this, I can't even come close. Alright, so we cut the tree uh, down. It's almost on the ground. We've got our swarm now. Much lower. Much more manageable. There it is. Just going to try to trim away some of the uh, excess branches and then bring the swarm down into this box. This box has the uh, swarm I collected yesterday. I switched them into a larger box because it was a larger swarm than I thought it was at first. And they seem to be coming and going and doing pretty good. <laughs> 